cameras that caught a charter plane carrying some of the F1 race cars for next week's Las Vegas Grand Prix. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to Total F1. The 2023 Formula 1 season is slowly approaching its end and only two events are left in the calendar. After a busy triple header, drivers got a bit of a break and now they are ready to return to action with the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. Even though the 2023 champion is already decided, there is tough competition for the rest of the spots in the championship standings. This is a totally new experience for the drivers as well as teams. Anything can happen on this newly built circuit. So this is our pre-race analysis before the race in the City of Lights. Stay with us till the end for more interesting facts and strategies about this event. But before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. Even though we define this year's event as the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix, this is not the first time that Sin City staged a Formula 1 race. Previously, Las Vegas became part of the F1 calendar in the 1981 and 1982 seasons under the name of the Caesars Palace Grand Prix moniker. In both years, the event was held as a season finale, giving a more important identity to the race in Las Vegas. Williams driver Alan Jones was able to win the first ever F1 race in Las Vegas, and the latter was won by Michele Alboreto. The race will follow the regular Grand Prix weekend format. That means there will be three practice sessions and a qualifying session within the first two days of the weekend, so the Grand Prix race will be held on Sunday at 11.30 local time. This year's event has no connection to the old track layout used a few decades back. The newly built circuit is a temporary street circuit located in the heart of the entertainment capital of the world. It's been designed in a way that includes the world famous Las Vegas Strip as well. This strip is an important part of the Las Vegas city, as it's home to many of the largest hotel, casino and resort properties in the world. This 6.201km long circuit is officially known as the Las Vegas Strip Circuit, and drivers have to go 50 times around the circuit to cover the total race distance of 310.05km. Even though it's composed of 17 challenging corners, the average speed of the Las Vegas Circuit is expected to match Monza, which is known as the Temple of Speed. This is mainly because of the long straight sections of the circuit. The speed-friendly nature of this circuit will surely script an exciting race here. There is big hype about this F1 event to be held on the streets of the neon capital of the world. Everything is very expensive around this circuit area, and the event is going with a relatively larger budget compared to other events of the 2023 calendar. The local authorities have closed down a considerable portion of the strip to make space for this temporary circuit, so the success of this inaugural event is very important for its existence in future Formula 1 calendars. To be honest, it's difficult to talk much about the tyre strategies here, as we don't have any idea about the performance and the rate of degradation of each type of rubber. Or at least, we have to wait till the end of the second qualifying to make some predictions. Talking about the tyre performance at Las Vegas, the managing director of the Pirelli Tyre Company, Mario Isola, said as follows. It's a step into the unknown, I think for everyone. Las Vegas will be cold. It's an urban circuit. So we've been working with the teams and asking them for simulations in advance to try and understand how much energy the car setup puts on the tires. We have received information from the companies that make the tarmac to understand how abrasive it is and what level of degradation we can expect. But there are still a lot of question marks over Las Vegas. We decided to use the three softest compounds in the range to try to generate some grip. He added further, explaining the challenges ahead of the race in Sin City. The average pit stop time is expected to be around 29 seconds. According to the available data, the circuit can be placed under the medium abrasiveness category. Considering all these factors, a two-stop strategy can be suggested as the optimum solution to record a win here. 
However, we are too early to tell something about the best tyre combination to yield the maximum results. At the end of each November, Las Vegas usually experiences a dry climate, so no disruptions from the rain expected. However, the temperature is somewhat cold, averaging around 12 to 17 degrees Celsius. But there is a possibility of it dropping down to 8 degrees Celsius as well. Most of the top 10 positions of the driver's standings are not yet settled, and teams will do their best to take the maximum advantage at Las Vegas before heading to the season finale in Abu Dhabi. Most people thought that Hamilton would easily catch Perez in the standings, as the Brackley-based team showed a huge improvement after the summer break. However, Hamilton's disqualification at Texas and the poor performance of Mercedes' challenges at Brazil gave a clear advantage to Perez in the final two rounds. Now, the gap between Perez and Hamilton is 32, and it will be a tougher job for the seven-time world champion to catch the Mexican. On the other hand, Hamilton has a 28-point lead over Alonso. Even though Aston Martin appear to have solved their issues at Brazil, they are too late to improve their standings. But it will be very important for both Alonso and Stroll to save their current positions. Alonso is in fourth, and he is closely followed by Norris and Sainz with a gap of six points. Stroll is in 10th, with a one-point lead over Gasly. There is a battle between Russell and Leclerc for the seventh spot, and they are separated by just 14 points. Mercedes is in the second spot for the constructor standings, and Ferrari is behind them with 20 points. There is a close battle between McLaren and Aston Martin for the fourth spot as well, and they are also separated by just 21 points. So the outcome of the race in Las Vegas is very important to seal their positions at Abu Dhabi, and the teams will come with better upgrade packages that suit the high-speed nature of this track for optimum performance. What do you think about the outcome of the Formula 1 race at Las Vegas? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to get more exciting Formula 1 news. See you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.